What's up guys, Sum here, and uh, I've got a interesting deck here, um, this is actually uh, one I've been playing around with in real life for a while, um, so I don't have any replays, I'm sorry about that, but it's a more aggressive version of Raccoons, um, instead of, you know, a lot of people just play it very stun, a lot of traps, um, and stuff like that, this really um, can pump out a lot of stuff, but can also leave some stun on the field. I actually forgot to add just one for a suggestion. Um, but, um, yeah, this is my raccoons. Um, just cards I've been playing around with. I actually just, I've been playing around with proxies and I finally got my uh, other two transmodifies that I've been working on for a while. Um, so I'll definitely have a report of how it actually works. I'm probably going to run it uh, next week or so whenever I can get to locals again. Um, but, uh, yeah, here it is. If you don't know the very standard thing of Coons is Obedient Scold. Uh, when you have a clear field, you can summon up to three level two Beast Warrior type monsters. With different instrument decks, you have to run multiple names. But, um, it does open up for a lot of fun plays. So, <clears throat> I'm just running one, uh, just for fun. Uh, and it, it can go pretty, it can be live most of the time. Uh, one Earthbound Immortal Kusili. Uh, just the fact that, um, you usually can uh, generate enough on the field to sacrifice for him. Uh, you will almost always have close forest on the field, and with his effect, you can crash into a monster um, if if you want to. Uh, sacrifice or tribute one monster you control, and then have your opponent's life points. Um, so that's it's just a kind of a fun little tech card. Uh, the original one that I was playing around with was running the Arcade Force of the World. So uh, this can support some uh, high-level tribute summon monsters. Um, then we're running double Crescent and good double hoop kick. Uh, this, as I said, uh, works with the transmodify. It makes the deck a lot more aggro. One desert tapir, which works with hoop kick. Uh, I'll kind of explain the uh, if you get the two cards uh, turn zero what to do. Uh, one uh, fer fabled cerebral, one wind up kitten, three pompoko, one elephant, one kelantosa. One Raiko, double Tantan, and one Key Mouse. Um, and then triple Modify, uh, one Dark Hole, triple Schooled, and double Dark Forest, triple Wabaku, uh, one Bottomless, uh, double Threatening Roar, double Mirror Force, one Torrent, double Trap Stun, because, um, this, even though, you know, I run a good amount of traps myself, this does have the potential to go off, um, and I don't want any of my plays impeded, uh, for the whole turn, I have to do a lot of things in one turn to really get my full build out, so uh, Trap Stun's pretty necessary. Then Double Breakthrough uh, over a Veiler. Um, you can use it twice for one, and then also um, the weird ruling with Veiler and Yamato uh, just makes this a better card. And then one Solemn. Uh, and then in the extra, uh, it's pretty open. Uh, you can go into a lot of things, um, but we got Double uh, double Naturi Beast, uh, one Kataster, one Unicorn, one Kudabi, and one Army Arm, and then one Alucard, one Levier, one Zen Mains for the threes, uh, one Phoenix, triple Sanduya, one Gachi, and one Dark Mist. Uh, so, as I was saying, the kind of explanation and how you're, you should be playing the deck. Uh, if you open up with Modify and Scold, which is why I'm running three of each, it really is um, the key play, is you mod or you Scold for a Taper, an Elephant, and usually, depending on what you have in hand, uh, just something else. I'll usually go for a Pompoko because I run three. Um, and then you uh, you modify for a Hoot Cake uh, on top of Taper. You overlay the, say, Pompoko and the Elephant for a Sanduya. Uh, Sanduya detaches, um, getting a token usually at 15 for Hoot Cake. Sometimes higher if you have Close Forest so they have something bigger. Um, he detaches the Elephant, and then Hoot Cake removes Taper to get... Croissant, uh, and then Taper's effect gets Elephant, and you tune Croissant and Taper, or Croissant and Elephant together to get Notorious Beast. So your end field is a Sanduya, hopefully in defense. Uh, I think you can modify it into defense also. <laughs> yep, <clears throat> you can modify in defense, so you probably want Hoot Cake in defense, depending on how uh, well you're doing, if you had played a Trap Sun earlier, etc. Um, and then a Notaria Beast and a token. So, pretty good field setup. 
um, and you at that point still haven't used your normal summon. So if you still have the Who Cake on field, um, you could drop a Fabled Cerebell, um, tune into Cataster, um, drop a Croissant in hand and overlay into an Alucard, or Levier, make more plays, etc. The point, you know, the good bit of that is that you haven't used your normal summon up with all of those plays you just did, and it's pretty, um, pretty extraordinary in my opinion. Um, but, uh, just some other, like, decks I was playing around with was a version with Hexhill Fusion, um, where you use, like, Sea of Koalas and, uh, Tree Otters, which I actually think I took him out too, um, uh, along with, um, Naturia Beast and such to get Exterio and Koala Koala, um, it's actually a lot of fun top decking into an Hexil Fusion going into Koala Koala is really nice. Or, you know, after you finish your combo, um, normal summoning Hex Field going to Koala, uh, getting a big field. Or you can also run like Junk Synchrons, um, going into like, uh, again, you know, Catastrophe for fives, but also Frozen Fitzgerald, which is a really good card. Um, but yeah, a lot of stuff like that. The deck is really flexible. Um, this is just my own way of playing it. The Transmodify is just really, um, blow the deck out of the water in my opinion but um, that's it actually a really short video for you guys today um, just honestly throwing this together because I'm still not ready to release my chain beat I didn't get good testing at locals this week um, maybe next week I'll uh, show that one off but yeah this is it um, again I'll uh, try to actually get a, a good report it's been testing really well well so far um, and yeah I hope you guys enjoy a new take on coons um, and I'll talk to you guys in the video. See you later. Um, well, I shouldn't sign off yet. As always, feel free to uh, like, comment, subscribe, check out your gear prices. And again, I'll see you later. Bye.